Rumor has it it has not yet been confirmed that Kanye West has banned models from gossiping about him and the Kardashians, the ones that are walking his, his runway show for Yeezy season two. And apparently, according to a number of sources, they he issued them a contract, a contract saying that if you talk about us, you will be sued $10 million and you're not allowed to walk my runway show unless you sign that contract. So, of course, it's unleashing all of this outrage on social media saying, you know, who is he to do this? I guess some models refused to even sign the contract and did not want to be part of the show because he threatened them with this contract. Thoughts, five words or less. Derelict, now by Adidas. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> the Kanye and Kardashian CIA. Ooh. More like non disclosure <laughs> agreement. <laughs> Oh. So good. Okay, uh, Jesus Christ, get over yourself. And that's the thing. It's more about, to me, it's about the principle. It's about the principle that you're assuming these models aren't going to be professionals. You're the employer. They're your employees. What kind of precedent does that set backstage? Get over yourself. Like, get the f*** over yourself. What is he doing backstage? Exactly. Like, it's like, oh, good. You know what we should do with, with our deepest, darkest secrets is act them out backstage at our fashion show. How bad? Is that relationship or how crazy is it that like you have to sign an NDA just to be around them? Like what's going on? Like what are they fighting nonstop? It's just like, all the human sacrifice, I think, is what they're Yeah, most probably. Can, <gasps> I mean, uh oh, look, I hey. just violated the terms. <laughs> Wait, uh, Ten million dollar loss. Can I play yes. devil's advocate for yes, a second? Because I actually kinda get it. Mm. And we all know this, being in the public eye, sometimes even on a lower level, you know. I know some of the drama that I that's ensued on films or TV shows I've worked on and people that are sort of in the entourage. And I think sometimes when you're that famous, you really do need to have NDA signed. I think you really do need to protect your privacy. It's I a get $10 it. million dollar I, I, NDA. Yeah. Which is ridiculous. And, but then from that. a business standpoint, it's like, ah, what's another way I could drum up some money? And mm -hmm. to do that, if you lock your, your models into... $10 million non-disclosure agreements, like maybe. Yeah, and I think about it as like the culture that you're creating with your models, because there's a lot of designers out there that build relationships with their models. They reuse those models. There's a mutual respect there. So for me, I'm looking at, at it more so as he's a businessman. He has this empire that he's trying to build. He says that he wants to make high fashion, hopefully be affordable to everybody one day, yeah. like a Zara, which doesn't make sense now, but he says he wants to do that later. So he's thinking about the long term. So how are you creating a mutual respect environment if you're going to sue the people that 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 work for you. I don't I don't I don't like it. You don't see really famous people like Julia Roberts doing that when she walks onto a film set or or other people within that same Some stature. Do. Uh I'm behind this conceptually though. I think we should find people for talking about Kim and Kanye. <laughs> <laughs> like if if there's some kind of monetary, we would have to pay so much money. So much, <laughs> everyone. I, I get it conceptually. He's a trailblazer. Yeah. yeah. But can we can we yes. please for one second talk about the ridiculous Yeezy season two? Have oh you seen my. the clothes? It looks like it's person <laughs> skin. It's not no, cute. That it's not uh, cute. Or homeless people <laughs> yes. outfits. Like derelict is a real thing now. Yeah. Derelict. The performance of like the actual runway show is people just standing dourly. Yeah. And like sad, like drones, like. But you know what? We don't get it. We just don't get it. Kanye's a visionary, and right. that's why we gotta wear his foreskin right. shoes that are that cost like four hundred <laughs> yeah. to a thousand dollars and Gotta give a kidney I, to get I so agree sad. with you, and I will leave it on this note because we've been hard on Kanye. He did, and I think give credit where credit's due. We, we It was reported that he fulfilled not only his community service for the in altercation with the photographer, but he actually went above and beyond. Yeah, but it's so, like the Fashion Institute. But still, yeah. he went- Clean up a highway. I, yeah. Hey, he's <laughs> mentoring, I get it, he's mentoring students, but he, let's say his hours were cut at 300, he went above and beyond and continued to mentor those students and continued to help them out. So I'm just saying, believe me, I think that he needs to get over himself, but I do want to give him credit where credit's due. Okay. Okay, we're going to leave on that note. Share your thoughts in the comment section below. Don't forget to subscribe. We'll see you next time on Pop Trigger.